Ladies and gentlemen, today on Spot the Liberal, I shit all over Joe Biden and Kamala Harris for 30 minutes straight. Ladies and gentlemen, 30 minutes straight. I shit on Kamala Harris and Joe Biden for 30 minutes straight. It's going to be a good one, people. You better buckle up, because it's going to be a wild freaking ride today on Spot the Liberal. Hang on to your hats, folks. See that, ladies and gentlemen? When Joe Biden becomes president. That's going to be all your hopes and dreams burning up. Big old freaking... Stop it. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, on this December 10th, 2020, I welcome you to Spot the Liberal. Now, as you know, television is an idiot box. Why is it called an idiot box? Because it's not a good source of information for news. Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to news and information, television tells you what to wear, what to eat, what to think, what to love, what to fear, what to hate, what to believe, what to feel, what to, well, everything. Since we're being honest here, television is programmed to brainwash people. This is why more and more people are switching to laptops and smartphones. Because television just isn't doing it for them anymore. And they've got darn good reason to as well. Now what if I told you... What if I told you... That television is in its dying days. It's in its winter years, folks. It's dying. In fact, some would say that it's already dead. Now, as you might imagine, as you might imagine, there are things that are going on right now that are not only within our control, but also prone to some of us doing something about it. At least. Now you think about this one. When television has been brainwashing you for years to group think instead of think individually. See, this is why individuality no longer exists. Because television is an idiot box programmed to brainwash. Speaking of which... I found this picture online of three little bitches being walked by a real alpha male who has been taking advantage of the United States on behalf of China for decades. I'm talking about the Chinese president for life. Yeah, I don't care to mention his name, but I know that he's president of China. And I know that he's been using America for many, many years. And you know why? Because China knows that our election system is completely outdated and needs an absolute revamp. It needs to be rebooted for its own good. Take away the popular vote. That's what I say. 
But leave it up to these three little bitches. And you won't have anything but grief. And lots and lots of bills to pay that you don't need to. I'm telling you what. If this isn't the biggest steal in the history of the world. Our world. Then you've got another thing coming. Because let me tell you. To all you people who voted for Joe Biden. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. No idea how far screwed up the butt you're going to get. Because I'm telling you what. If this isn't a clear cut example of why the Electoral College is so important and why it's also important that we amend our Constitution for the greater good, then quite frankly, I don't know anymore. Now you tell me. This is a world that we live in where the left and most of the right, I'm sad to say, are being controlled by the media and China and most of Russia, I would say, because there is no doubt in my mind. And by the way, Russia did not interfere in the 2016 election. But if they were allowed to vote, they would have voted for Trump. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we live in a time and age where Democrats and most Republicans are stool pigeons. They are stool pigeons who would rather kowtow to their corporatist masters and China and the World Health Organization, and George Soros, and Rupert Murdoch, and and Dark Mark Zuckerberg. You know, it's really, it's really sad. It is really sad that most Republicans and all Democrats in general would want to kowtow to those sorts of people who don't even deserve to be, they deserve to be executed. That's not saying that they will be. They may get away with it for the rest of their lives. But as far as I'm concerned, if this were justice and justice were real, you know, this, this, is, this is why justice is blind. You want to know why justice is blind? Because it turns a blind eye to the people that pervert it. Preferably, the people in power who make the laws, but think they're exempt for the laws that they create. See, here's the thing. This is why I don't give a damn for television anymore. I'm I'm actually glad that Tegna removed complete bullshit CBS from its lineup. I'm glad that they removed Tegna... I'm glad that Tegna removed CBS from its lineup. I'm glad that they did that. Because you know what? It's going to convince more and more people to know, without a shadow of a doubt, that television is nothing more than an electronic, mind-altering device that has been designed to psychologically distort for the worst, the ways in which you view reality. They want you to believe that reality is staged, that it's not real. There's no reality in reality anymore. There's nothing real about reality. Well, guess what? Reality is a pain in the ass, and you got to deal with it one way or the other. You got to get your ass up. You got to get something done. You got to get paid to get something done. And if it's not enough to pay the bills, you got to get more money. Because as we know, money has to be the root of all evil. Because it can't be anything else. 
But God knows that we need a lot of it to survive. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'd like to call the... This isn't an age of innocence either. This is an age of ignorance. Most people are turning a blind eye to this because one, they don't want to talk about it. Two, they don't care to talk about it. And three, they don't want to do anything about it. Because they choose to remain ignorant to the truth. Look at Venezuela. In just one generation of progressive leadership, that country is now in a civil war against its government. Quite frankly, a war that's only going to end one of two ways. One with the government massacring the citizens that elected them, or two, the citizens regaining control of their country and restoring real leadership to the people. Unfortunately, in the case of Venezuela, it's only going to end one way. And out of the two ways that I mentioned, the former is how it's probably going to end. I'm sorry to say that, but that's what you get for voting for progressive leadership for decades. That's what happens. You people don't want to end up like Venezuela in America, do you? You don't want America to become Venezuela 2.0, do you? You don't want that. I don't want that. That's the last thing I'd want, the very last thing I'd want. In 1992, it was the third richest country in the hemisphere. Five years later, second largest purchaser of F-150. In 2001, this is where it all started to go to hell. They voted for a socialist. 2004... Private health care completely socialized. 2007. All higher education becomes free! Because you have to have your free education in order to get a freaking education. Well, that doesn't work that way. You've got to pay your way towards a higher education. And if you can't pay for it, you're better off getting a job. As was in my case. 2009, socialist banned private ownership of guns. They took the guns away! 2012, Bernie Sanders praises their dream. Which is not a dream, it's a nightmare. 2014, opposition leaders were imprisoned. 2016, food and health care shortages became widespread. 2017, constitutional elections were suspended. 2019, unarmed citizens who never did a damn thing to be punished were massacred by their own government, the same government that they elected. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why we don't want to become Venezuela 2.0. But sadly, since we're in an age of ignorance... Not an age of innocence like so many claim in the media. We vote for politicians who have been in office for five decades and never did a goddamn thing for us except make life less affordable. They made life less affordable for us. And you know why they did that? Because they think they can get away with it because they claim to be exempt from the laws that they make. The very same laws that you and I have to follow. So what the government, if the government exempts themselves from the laws that they make, why the fuck should we follow them? Just saying. By the way, it should be noted. 
it should be noted. This is going to the Supreme Court. This this election rigging that's been going on, this is going to the Supreme Court. And they had better rule in favor of Trump. Because if they don't, then that confirms in my mind that they're not to be trusted. So fuck them. But I have complete confidence. You know, the Supreme Court is consisting of nine people. Three liberals, six Republicans, six conservatives. Right? Three people appointed by Democrats, six people appointed by Republicans. Three of which were appointed by Donald Trump. The most Supreme Court picks of any president in history. So far. I say so far because if Joe Biden gets elected, he's going to completely upend the Supreme Court and pack it full of jackoffs. That's what's going to happen. I just know it. Now, the point I'm trying to make in all this is because China is going to buy us out if Joe Biden is elected president. We're already, we're already 26 trillion in debt. We're already twenty-six trillion in debt. That's trillion with a T. And I I'm telling you. Okay, let's let's take a break for a moment because I'm clearly stressed out. Here is this viral math problem. Can you solve it? Six divided by the product of two and one plus two. I'll give you a few minutes to guess. Okay, time's up, ladies and gentlemen. Time's up. The answer to this question is one. Six divided by the product of two and one plus two. Now, we. this is a two-step equation, okay? This is a two-step equation. Two times the sum of one plus two is six. Six divided by six is one. Therefore, 6 divided by the product of 2 and 1 plus 2 is 1. Because 2 times 1 plus 2, which is 3, is 6. Do you get it now? Or it could be 7. It could be 9. For all we know, it could be 23! (laughs) But no, in all seriousness, the answer to that question is... In my honest opinion, given my understanding of math, and I'm really good at math, is one. Now, I could be wrong. If I am, I'll take the heat for it. But as far as I know, six divided by two times one plus two is one. That's my understanding of it. Or, we can put this another way. 6 divided by 2 is 3, times 1 plus 2, which is 3, 3 times 3 is 9. That could be the answer too, there's no telling. There could be multiple answers to this problem for all I know. Multiple answers to this problem that we don't know of yet. That we should know. But we don't because we're the dumbest nation on the... America is the dumbest nation on the planet. You see? And now you know why we live in the age of ignorance. So. We voted to raise taxes on rich property owners. We're confused as to why rent was raised. Now I hear the story about Minnie the Moocher. Speaking of which. <laughs> Look at that woman's face. <laughs> oh, man. It's funny. 
to God. That's funny. That is so funny. Oh, man, that's funny. Holy crap. I'm telling you, this is one of those times where, I mean, I've been saying it for years. I have been saying it for years. The government is out to get us. They don't give a damn about us. And George Cullen had been saying it for many years before I even thought of the idea of saying it. So I'm just repeating what the late, great George Carlin said. You understand? And George Carlin, as you know, was not just a comedian. In fact, if he ran for Congress, if he ran for the President of the United States instead of Barack Obama, I guarantee you he would have won. Unfortunately, since he died in 2008, we will not ever get a chance to see the ramifications of that because he's dead and then there's chunky he's dead donkey Kong 64 reference yeah i know i'm old as hell i know things i remember things my childhood goes way back, man. Way, way back. Oh, by the way, I should mention. Kamala Harris and her bottom bitch, Joe Biden. <laughs> Time person on the air! What? <laughs> <laughs> what the you gotta be kidding me Oh my god I'm telling you This is this is unbelievable man Time magazine are a bunch of fucking morons They don't know the person of the year from their asshole. They don't know their hand from their ass. They don't. It's really sad, man. It really is. If I had the honor of choosing my person of the year, I would have to say Donald Trump. Because he has done more for this country in four years the Democrats done in 230. That's dating all the way back to 1790. When our very first president, George Washington, was president. Well, actually, he wasn't our first president. Technically, there were about 10 or 11 presidents before him. But that was before... That was before our Constitution was founded. That was before the Bill of Rights was passed. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, two make-believe bitches pretending to be president and vice president-elect were named Persons of the Year. Persons of the Year. Time Magazine's Purses of the Year. And by purses, I mean persons. But you get what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying. I don't make sense half the time, but I know shit. You're damn right I know shit. I know shit like the back of my hand. You better believe that. And that is why I will never subscribe or get a magazine from Time. Because there are a bunch of rich corporatist libtards who could give a damn about common decency. Because they don't know the first thing about that. It's kind of sad, isn't it? The way the world is gone. And you know, 
you know, I want to believe. I want to believe that things are going to get better. Guess what, people? They're not. They're going to get worse. Things are going to get worse over time. They are never going to get better as long as there are Democrats in Congress. That's why we need straight Republicans. Republicans that will not sell us out or throw us under the bus. Not these Mitt Romney faggots. Like John McCain was, or Elijah Cummings was. You know, they gave a full-fledged military honors funeral for Elijah Cummings. A man who never gave a damn about his own people, but was a lifelong politician in the swamp. Yeah, give a military salute to some guy who never meant jack shit to a bunch of people that aren't worth five cents to him. Right. But fuck people like us, because we don't mean shit, right? Yeah. That is the mentality of a Democrat in Washington, D.C. And you know, I'd like to say that there is one redeeming quality about Joe Biden. He loves German Shepherds! Yay! He loves German Shepherds, everybody! <laughs> that doesn't matter. He's still a shit human being. In fact, he doesn't deserve the title of a human being because if he were a human being, he'd have a bit of common knowledge about him to have never even sold us out to China. Who in their right mind would vote for this guy? It's unbelievable. Who in their right mind would even think to vote for Because they hate Donald Trump. Because they've done... Because he's done more for them than they'll ever, ever understand. It's really a shame, isn't it? The way this world has gone and all that. The way that society has gone and all that. In fact, I'm hung to believe that for what it's worth... For what it's worth, ladies and gents, this world is only going to get a lot worse before it ever gets better. And once it does get better, rest assured, we won't live to see it. This is the problem of people who vote for a Democrat. Any Democrat. Not just, not just a Democrat. Any Democrat. They think they're going to get hope and change, that it's going to be hand-delivered to them. Nope. Nope. You got to work for it. You got to work for it. You got to work your tail off for it. Otherwise, it won't work. So, ladies and gentlemen, I conclude now by saying, once and for all, that the Supreme Court if they have a bit of common decency about them, will overturn the election results in favor of Donald Trump and give him the second term of Congress that he so desperately and justifiably and rightfully deserves. Because if they do not, that means they're all sellouts and they too should be replaced. And if Republicans in Congress don't stand up for the president now, they're not going to have a chance to later. It's common sense, people. It's common sense. Well, I said I was going to shit on Joe Biden and Kamala Harris for 30 minutes, and I think I've done my job. That being said... I thank you all very, very much for watching, although technically it was more like 28 and a half minutes. And until we meet again, I am Kevin the Skull Anderson, and I do not forget this message, unlike Joe Biden. Good night, everybody. <laughs>